Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, our, our Back to School Employee of the Week the, this week. Uh, we, we've had, had a couple of weeks of break here uh, throughout the summer months uh, because we had a lot of families and our heroes and our employees of the week uh, were traveling on vacation and things. So we're back in school and uh, back in action with our Employee of the Week and our Friday's Heroes. Uh, this is our chance to tell our community uh, some of the great things that are happening and how your tax dollars are being spent, particularly through the great work uh, of our city employees. Uh, just a side note, today's uh, we had a we don't have a Friday's Hero today because we had some scheduling conflicts, um, and so we'll we'll resume that here next week. But today we are here to honor Linda Hubley, who is our Employee of the Week, and uh, Linda is with the Bloom Museum. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, her job, and then I'm going to let Sandy Cohen tell you a little bit more in depth about what uh, Linda and her crew do every year. The Bloom Fiesta is a wonderful event in our city uh, each and every year. And what sometimes people uh, don't realize is that the Bloom Fiesta is put on by a 501c3 corporation. So they are a nonprofit that actually puts that event on. People think that the Bloom Museum is part of the Bloom Fiesta, and it's actually not. It's actually a separate foundation that runs that great facility and it's a separate entity and we have our own city crews that uh, operate and manage the, uh, the Bloom Fiesta Park uh, as far as the Parks Department does that but um, it's Cultural Affairs Department that actually runs the museum. If that wasn't confusing enough um, I'll mm -hmm. try to uh, make it less confusing as we go forward. But Linda works uh, actually for the Cultural Services Department uh, inside of the uh, city of Albuquerque and she is our employee of the week. If you remember back in June uh, there was an incident at a local uh, uh, facility here where uh, we had a big storm come through and the tent actually collapsed and uh, some folks were injured. Well, we had a similar event that could have happened at the city of Albuquerque, but it didn't because of Linda's uh, quick action. Uh, so in June, the Bloom Museum was hosting its annual Albuquerque Folk Festival, which I would invite everybody to. It's a wonderful festival. And she was the manager on duty, Linda was. The event was scheduled to last well into the night and had attracted thousands of people as it does each and every year. It was going great, but around 7 o'clock that evening, uh, some of those famous New Mexico winds hit and the venue uh, was hit with gusts that exceeded 70, or excuse me, 50 miles per hour. And of course, these are those big white tents that you see out for these events. The weather conditions were severe enough that a tornado warning was actually issued for the city. All of the people at the folk festival were still outside waiting to hear the headline band, which I think was Ramblin', Ramblin Jack that night. Uh, in an effort to ensure the safety of the people at the festival, Linda and city security had to make an on-the-spot decision. Do we go forward with the event and, and risk having someone injured, or do we actually make the very difficult decision to cancel the event? And they made the decision to cancel that event. And I think uh, based on some of the other things that occurred with tents in our city that, uh, that very day, um, making tough decisions is part of our job every day, and, and I think it probably uh, kept uh, a disaster, near disaster, from happening at the Blooms. Um, her action proved to be vital as a, as, as a um, right after the winds hit, a few of the tents uh, soon became loose from the gusty winds and actually blew down. And uh, maybe you can expand on that just a little bit. But since Linden City Security had already evacuated the field, there were no injuries when those tents went down. She's a great leader, and she prevented a potential disaster. And as I said earlier, uh, we're proud of her and her decision-making capacity. But we have 6,000 or so employees at the city of Albuquerque that go out each and every day and try to make those good decisions. So I'm going to have Sandy Cohen, who's our balloon museum manager, tell you a little bit more about Linda and some of the great things that they're doing. And then we have an award for you. Okay. Sandy? Good to see okay. you. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I really do want to thank the City of Albuquerque for officially recognizing something that I and all of us here at Cultural Services have known for quite a long time. We really have a special and unique individual working for the Balloon Museum. Um, I'm a fairly expressive person, I think, but I don't have enough adjectives to describe how wonderful Linda really is. Uh, but what I can say is that she has the very rare gift for combining extreme creativity with extreme confidence and competence. Um, I depend on her a lot, and she delivers every time. Uh, highly motivated, yet cool under pressure, um, which was very indicative of what happened this year at the Folk Festival. Uh, very driven, yet extremely practical and logical. Extraordinarily decisive, but extremely thoughtful too. She's perfect. A <laughs> uh, typical conversation that I have with uh, Linda almost every morning goes uh, something like this. Me, hey Linda, would you mind taking care of this? Linda, 
Sure, Sandy, uh, it was done three weeks ago. <laughs> Me, yeah, well, I knew that. <laughs> uh, it's no secret there were short-staffed at the Balloon Museum. Uh, nevertheless, we are able to achieve our goals and move ahead because of employees like Linda. We meet all of our challenges forthrightly and with great enthusiasm because of employees like Linda. Our museum is a great place to be, a fun place to work, and an institution with a great future because of employees like Linda. Uh, what Linda did at the Folk Festival this year uh, was purely and simply heroic. Uh, but like many of, other of our fine staff at the city, uh, she's a hero every day. Uh, so thank you, Linda, and thanks to everyone for bestowing this very special honor on her and on us. And they actually, the, the tents actually uh, blew down, is that correct, ultimately? Yes, yeah, a couple of them. Yeah, did, yeah, um, so, well, good. Well, Sandy, thank you so much. Oh, Appreciate your leadership pleasure. there. My and uh, Linda, for you, we have uh, our Employee of the Week mug that we give to all our Employees of the Week. We also have a, uh, a certificate for you. Uh, that says uh, Employee of the Week for the City of Albuquerque, and then we have a nice letter for your personnel file as well. So thanks for doing great things out there. I know our attendance at the Balloon Fiesta uh, has really dramatically increased over the last several years at the, at the Balloon Museum uh, because of these great kind of events. But uh, people aren't going to come if they don't feel safe, and uh, you kept them safe. So thank you very much. We appreciate you and all your efforts. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.